But nonetheless, we have the decision. Roe v. Wade is overturned. I need to stand up. I've been sitting here too long. So what do we do? What do we do? States are going to enact the laws that they want to. We've seen the different maps of states that are going to protect abortion and the states are going to outlaw abortion. You know, we've seen it. So what do we do? I think we have to take what's given to us and respond accordingly. So let's start. Let's hold our local, our state, and our national lawmakers accountable. If you want to see change, if you don't like the direction that your state is going in, be active. Write letters, send emails, show up, protest, uh, st- uh, get petitions signed, fundraise, do what you need to do in order to have your voice heard. Vote them out of office. That's a, a possibility too when the opportunity presents itself. Find candidates who support the ideals of the people in your area. Here's what's getting missed. People are upset with what the Supreme Court did. The Supreme Court did not outlaw abortion. We we, we need to stop repeating that. We need to educate ourselves better. The Supreme Court did not outlaw abortion. The Supreme Court said, that's the y'all's issue, not mine. Now, the states are going to try to outlaw abortion, and I think that's where the problem comes in because the states should be like, right, that's none of my business. That's none of my business. That's y'all's. Go ahead. Do what you do. But because the states aren't doing that, here's what Congress can do. Congress can pass an abortion act that protects abortion to whatever weak amount that they want to make it, whatever point of the pregnancy that they can get a vote and get it passed. And there's your answer. So ask your congressman, your congresswoman, or your senators, both of them, tell them to do their damn jobs and make a policy that reflects the needs of their constituents. Then convince their colleagues and their friends to vote on it, then put it on the president's desk And he can sign it, that bill in the law, and boom. Whoop, there it is. Now we have a law that protects abortion. But if we're not going to do that, if we're going to have people like Queen Maxine getting upset with with the Supreme Court, but not taking that energy into where she's working at, where she operates at, to try to create legislature that could change it what are we doing here i don't want to hear people who are in the position to enact change complain about about something that they can go they can go change right so people who are outraged by this go make your voice heard do what it is that you need to do do your homework find out how you can try to push forward change and do it Another thing you can do, you can move to a state that protects it. If it's that serious of an issue for you, move. Back when the car factories was opening in Detroit, people moved up north for a better job. They was tired of working on the farms. When opportunities opened up in the west on the west coast, people moved out to California because it aligned with what the next step that they wanted in life. You know, some people who grew up in one state, they moved to another state for college and then moved to another state for a job. Yeah, same thing. If the place that you're living is not supporting the lifestyle that you want to live, then move. Well, there's a lot of poor people who can't move. Life is tough for them. Yeah, I know. That's unfortunate, man. And and I don't have a better answer for you all because what we've seen in our political system is that Sucks to be poor. 
and this is not me being insensitive to poor people and their plight is saying, you know, you don't have the means to, you don't have the means to pick up and go like some others can. You may not even have the wherewithal to know what's going on because you're busy working a job, working two jobs, trying to make ends meet to support your lifestyle. And you don't have time to be well read into politics and, and civics and government and what's going on. And that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. That's one of the big issues that we have that so many people who are deeply affected by changes in policy and, and, and are shifting social structure don't have the time to consume the knowledge to be as informed as possible. And then they turn on their TV and all they're getting is debate television, whether it's Fox News, whether it's CNN, whether it's NMSNBC, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, whatever the case may be, they're getting inundated with a bunch of misinformation and opinions that they're consuming as facts because guess what? They ain't got time to fact check it. And now they're armed with misinformation, ready to fight a fight and not even knowing what they're fighting for. Or fighting about. Or who they fighting. I'm canceling my parents because they don't support this cause. What? They raised you. You sure that's the right answer? Maybe it's not having a conversation and learning something. But we all leave our homes for reasons at some point, and this can be a reason that you leave your home. You know, we, we, we see how the country is becoming more and more divided and more fractured, and maybe that's maybe that's the answer. We, we move into <laughs> echo chambers, and we all just sit there and yell at each other the things that we want to hear. Maybe that's the direction that our society is going in. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I'm also not in a place where I'm deeply affected by a lot of the changes that are happening. Some of them bother me personally, but they don't change my day to day yet. So right now I have opinions, but I'm not emotionally invested in a lot of the stuff that upsets people because it don't affect me. And I want to be transparent with you all because it doesn't affect me. At this point in my life, the changes to abortion do not affect me, given the state that I live in, the state of, well, Georgia, they tripping, but where I'm at in life and what I'm trying to do, it's it's not that for me. But be informed, stop posting misinformation, and, and, and let's seek some solutions. Because I've seen a lot of outrage. I've seen Pink say, don't listen to my music anymore. Okay. We haven't listened to it in years. Madonna's made statements. Celebrities all from here and there have made statements. All of y'all listening to this has probably made a post on Facebook, reposted something on your story on Instagram. Got it. You're frustrated. But what's next? What's next? How do you plan to take your feelings and, and, and turn those feelings into informed actions that can enact change. That's my question for you all. Because feelings and post aren't going to change much. 